Welcome back to our next tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to group your objects, how to ungroup your objects, you will learn how to use the geometry panel, and you will learn how to combine different shapes into one using a non destructive method. Let's begin with the mouse. I select my mouse with the move tool. I go under view. Zoom, zoom to selection. Now I can see that I have a white part and another white part, another white part and another white part. These could be grouped or combined into one shape. By holding down the shift key I select the ear, still holding down the shift key, continue holding down the shift key, I select those pieces. Now what I can do up here, I go under Add. As soon as I add these objects, I have one object. But as you can see, there's a problem. First of all, one of my objects is lost. And the second problem is when I open this, I cannot uncombine it. It's completed in a curve. So let me undo this. Command C. Now my recommendation is to work non-destructive. I have my pieces selected, all in white. Now before I click on Add, I hold down the Alt key. By holding down the Alt key before I click on Add, I create what is called a compound path. That is the advantage if I open this. I can first of all still select, let's say, the head and say I would like to make it smaller or bigger or I can move the head around, you can see all the parts are still here and I can make adjustments. The other good thing about working with a non-destructive compound path option is I have the option to see different solutions. How does that look in the other geometry options? You have a preview here. The other good thing is also at any time I can undo this or I can move my segments out of this compound group again. Now I'll go back to zoom, zoom to fit. It's great that I have it combined into one piece, that's fantastic, but still the belly is separate, so I need to group it. I select all the objects without going over the green, so only the character is selected. And I go up to the left here and say group. Now I can see the group. I can at any time ungroup it. I can also open the group, look inside the group and say, even though it's a group, I can still make my belly smaller or bigger. I can still select the single pieces and make adjustments. What I can also do is, let's say the belly doesn't belong to my group anymore, but I would like to remain the group as it is, I just move my belly out of the group and it's outside. Now it's not part of the group anymore. You can also select the green background and say I group that one again. So now we have a group inside a group. And you can see it's all non-destructive. Here's my compound path. At any time I can move my parts around or make changes or adjustments or move a part out of my group. I can also move it back inside my group. Let's say I move something out of my group, I can just move it back in here again. It's a very good way to work. It's a very organized way to work. You won't lose your pieces anymore and it's non-destructive. So what I would recommend you to do, what we did with the mouse here, do it with the hippo. Combine the shapes, non-destructive, by adding on a compound path, holding down the Alt key for all the gray parts, group it, and then make a total group for the whole icon. Same thing here. Hold down the Shift key, select the yellow parts, hold down the Alt key, click on Add, and it created a compound path. Then you select the whole figure, click on group, position it the way you like it and if you think it's perfect, select the whole thing and say group. 
So I'm looking forward to your finalized icons, simplified, grouped and arranged. In the next tutorial we will get to know something completely new. We'll be working with frame text tool and artistic text tool.